oral questions. Question oral, the Honourable Member for Vancouver East. When the Auditor General came looking for where the $3 billion actually went, the government had no answer. They couldn't provide detail because none existed, and yet they claimed that this is all somehow transparent. Did they not read the Auditor General's report? The President of the Treasury Board can't say if this money went to another program or if it was even spent at all. Can the Minister now stand up and acknowledge that his government has no clue where this money went? No clue. The Honourable Minister of Health. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, there is no truth to that question. Let's hear what the Auditor General actually said. Yes. We didn't find anything that gave us cause for concern that money was used in any way it should not have been. We are going to listen to the Auditor General. Yes. The Honourable Member for Vancouver East. The Conservatives are being very selective in quoting the Auditor General. So, yes, let's hear what he had to say. I'm sure it's an oversight that they don't give the full story. This is what he said. However, it's important for there to be a way for people to understand how this money was spent and that summary reporting was not done. Oh. Mr. Speaker, the AG is clearly saying Conservatives failed to explain where this money went. The money? Why are they misleading the Canadian public? The, the Honourable Minister of Health. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, again, that's a misleading question. Let's hear what the Auditor General actually again said. We didn't find anything that gave us cause for concern that the money was used in any way it should not have been. We are going to listen to the Auditor General, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Vancouver East. Now, Conservative members on the Canadian Heritage Committee have launched a review of history teaching at provincial schools. Conservatives already intervened politically in the War of 1812 advertisements. They're remaking the Museum of Civilization and their image. And yesterday, yesterday, Mr. Speaker, we saw the first Canadian in space being removed from Canadian space history for political reasons. Surely, Canadians deserve better. Why are Conservative MPs now intent on telling provincial schools what they should teach? The Honourable Minister of Health. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we have no intentions of telling the provinces and or the territories how to teach history. Mr. Speaker, we have been very clear about wanting Canadians to reconnect with their proud history and heritage. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.